Previously on Alan Wake. Previously on. Has been Hello everyone. Dead Eye here. Alice and we finished episode two. Here's the previously I on. Tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. Because is, friend, and I'm worried that you're not is right Barry the also in, in this? I don't know. Road. That's coming true before my eyes. Uh, it's good that he's coming aware of what's so what's actually happening. I have found him only a few but will he be able to act on that? Do you have free will if you're inside the manuscript? Um, the Dark Presence wants the manuscript, huh? Good girl. Is that because, like, he thinks if he has the actual manuscript, he'll be able to How break out the into the anyway? real world by reading the ending? I told you you were too hard on her. Hmm. Listen, I Anyways. Found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging Did around. you, Barry? Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. Oh. We have an FBI agent here. Agent uh, I've heard of this agent. FBI. How do they know? Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. I'm cooperating with that? Let's make this quick, huh? Help Whoa, hello. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. What's up, Randolph? For Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Another freaking nice Lincoln back there or whatever. What the I'm heck? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I'm Alan Wake. The radio you were visiting. It was well, Rose who told I'll everyone that I was visiting. Trailer. That rose, of course, you got nice like girl. a limp. Always pays her rent on time. <laughs> As I was saying, that's I all that makes you nice. All sorts of weird stuff from the local newspapers archives. Yeah. This place is crazy. It really is. is. Mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this: most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. <gasps> well, you ain't wrong, Mister. Alan Wake has. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I'm okay. Gonna hold with that uh, like a common yeah. setting. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the That's crazy. I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches. Never heard of him. didn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. Right. But the volcano Saw that. the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay, thanks. I like that it's nighttime. Or, excuse me, <laughs> I can... Ooh, my powers of telling what time of the day it is. Uh, I've weakened as i got gotten older. I appreciate being during daytime. Uh, we're going to be coming back here when it's dark and everything's horrible and have a boss fight here, aren't we? Randy's dogs open. Wait, did Randy wait a minute? That was uh, was that stuck he said about dogs, the famous dog and the other one. I don't remember. Oh, get on, these Fords out of here. Take you to Rose's trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should yeah, stop looking around. That? What it was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky? Wait, what? But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. Okay. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. <laughs> uh, all right, that's kind of funny. Coffee, yeah, put it in me. Follow me. It's not far. Or are you, Randy? Oh yeah, Randy for Randolph. Yeah, I get it. on the menu hot dog chili dog corn dog taco dog trailer trash dog belly burster yep yeah it is fifteen dollars for a belly burster monster dog big dog a Listen, famous dog I got things to do this place don't run itself extra fixing just ask for them open time 6 p.m to midnight 6 p.m to 3 p.m or excuse me a.m sunday 3 p.m to midnight welcome oh give me a break mister can we just get a rabbit move food on? Granny Claws Clam Chowder. A Cauldron Lake Deep Fry Plate. Zadie Chicken Fried Steak. Asgardian Chicken Parmesan. He's a big fan of Thor, I guess. Yeah, yeah, where are we going? Oh, I gotta have a limp, of course, so this takes forever. Who's logging back here, dude? Oh, can I open this door? Oh, you gotta open it. It gets better. A local girl, <laughs> Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Oh. Uh, sure, Jagger's he... a local spook story. 
buried the evidence in a volcano. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. <gasps> she's a, the town only has... And she's that crazy bag lady you met. Right. What, the lamp lady? The she lamp a lady. Loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both <laughs> Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Yeah, okay. Those birds are going to come back the moment your back is turned, dude. That did nothing. Okay, let's go. Come on, my man. Yeah, she wrote them all because this town only has one writer. I don't think this town needs more than one writer. Look how small it is. <gasps> There's a thermos inside that house. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. Thanks. You mind me asking what you want with her? Why? I'm just here to talk to her, pal. She called us. <laughs> why, why can't I say that? Why you gotta be so suspicious with that? We just want to talk to her, pal. Like, people don't know when to lie. That's a real life problem. Don't need to tell everyone every single detail. Just tell them what you need to get what you want. That sounds really mean when I say that. What kind of door is this? Oh no, it's blinds. Hello. Oh, to, to... oh dear. Mr. Wake. The little bit of smoke I'm, there? Okay. I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Oh, thanks for the coffee. Hey, this is really good. <laughs> Rose. Yes. My manuscript. Why are you so different? I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. That's oh, so Barry. un... It, she doesn't have anything. That's yeah. so un... Like... Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh... Oh, uh, put drugs in the coffee. What? Silly Wha veil lady. <clears throat> How am I supposed to get that thermos now? Hiding in my barber's skin. Yeah. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Oh crap, is Thomas Zane really the writer? That's why Alan Wake doesn't know anyone in the game. Okay, I get it. Thomas Zane is the character. You must turn the lights on. Is the character? You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And then Spooky Veil Lady is the villain. The Dark Presence. But yeah, okay, okay, okay. Tom, Tom is saying. I felt nauseous, hung over. All these pictures. Only anger kept me going. What's up? I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I'm writing faster and faster. <laughs> My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another Medicated. under similar circumstances, Thomas what? Zane. The genre of the story to seems hate. to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Okay. I thought it was shifting from a horror story to like a crime thriller and then maybe believe in change. Maybe we'll go into like different kinds of uh, genres, like Rose eventually sci fi. I had less than 12 hours oh, left hey, to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car. She or took something a out day from me. Road. That's kind of mean. It's all a big pot of coffee in it. Does that say Burn Momento? That's a pretty good name for coffee brand. Cooking with corn. 72 tasty recipes. Oh, I was hoping it'd be like cooking with like corn with a K. And it's like Jonathan Davis's Welcome recipes. To the oh dear diner. Aww. What can I get you today? I'm sorry the Coffee. evil presence I couldn't work did, much hate did that Rose. to you. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First Return to sender. 
Milk and sugar on the counter there. Isn't that? Would you like to hear today's specials? Is that Thank a you. chapter of Max Have Payne? Nice day. Come back uh, soon. It's been a very long time since I played Max Payne because last time I tried playing it, game wasn't working uh, on my PC, and I haven't bothered since. Maybe I'm just thinking. Maybe I'm just making it up. Barry was out of it. He was I, way I feel like heavy to carry. I remember something like an episode or a chapter called Return to Zenda. You're right. <laughs> deserve more money. Mm -hmm. I'm so handsome. All right, Barry. Keep up those dreams. Oh look, there's a dark out here. And flashlight were gone. Of course they I are. Have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Manuscript. Oh jeez, there's so many. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did. Everybody likes her. Rose. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. Oh crap. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Alright, Randall. Are you gonna be my villain in this episode? Radio? Oh, okay. Uh, tell me all that you know, radio. Outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, hmm. the weather's getting heavy. Ooh. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. <laughs> But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Oh, who's going to be the guy? Is it going to be Randy? Hey, no, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep here, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, hmm? you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. What the heck? Where's this story going? Okay, this story, where's this going? Okay. This is taking a really long time for nothing. Well, well uh, maybe. No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hey, okay. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? Um. Oh, hey, Randy. How you doing? You got a flashlight for me? And a gun, perhaps? Oh, the police are here. <laughs> that was a long God knows what you've radio that broadcast. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Oh. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle Did you call me Hemingway because I'm a face. writer? Stay right where you are, <gasps> Jeez. Who's Spillane? That's not a... Not, I don't know literary use. Oh, cool bullet time. Right here, <laughs> goddamn maniac. Jeez. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kid. <sighs> Mr. Wake, come on. Because I'm running from the police. Is this just a runaway from the lights? Okay. Oh, it's the opposite of. <laughs> I have to run from the lights now. To catch me, it's game over. I'm going to jail. Book jail. The worst kind of jail. Jail you can't write yourself out of. There he is! 
Oh, what? How'd you see me through the slats of the wood, man? Which way did he go? What? Oh, a flyer. Damn. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Wow! You know, Alan Wake, you are a hero. You can take a bullet and shrug it off. Slipped away. Wanted by the FBI. Alan Wake runs through the forest. Like running through a nightmare. Only to wake up. At the flash of an eighth agent's light. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I'm not a literary writer, man. I just read sci-fi. There's a manager page or a thermos there or something. Is there a wait a freaking second? Is there like a secret ending if I play this on Nightmare and collect all the manuscripts? Ah, oh, crap. I hope there isn't. This game's not that hard. <laughs> I could have done that from the start. All right, what do we got? The Dark Presence sleeps. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. Mm. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. Poet, the huh? stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Ah. Interesting. So. Uh, oh. No more. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, get wrecked, police car. Barb. Manuscript page. Oh, hey, you can still see the blinking of the tower. That's nice. Yeah. Secret one, yeah. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Mm. Pretty girl, she said. Why Rose didn't you felt as if she was pause there after the period? But her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Okay. Let's keep going. So tired, Alan. Can't run. Should have worked down my cardio. Come in, Agent Nightingale. This is Sheriff Breaker. Mm -hmm. Over. Nightingale, over. What on earth is going on? I should listen to that. Fired his weight, and he didn't have a gun. You almost hit a civilian instead. Over. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. I don't have time for this. Well, make the time. You can't just go shooting at people in my town. Over. <laughs> You did it for what? Oh, my foot is just sinking into the trunk. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Hey. Did you see me armed? You're lying. I give them an excuse to shoot me. I don't like this. Okay. Checkpoint reached. Whoa! Another flare, no. The rest. Search the area. The rest so I can run when I need to run. Is that a dark present over there? No, that's just a fence. Taken, excuse me, whatever. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> The FBI can't handle the DP. Light over there. No, safety. That wasn't night in the yellow, it was just some random agent. Oh, car. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Hey, wait a minute. Are you kidding? I mean, have you seen this guy? He wears a clean jacket. He's the guy we're chasing. If it's not him, who then? Bigfoot? How do you know about Bigfoot? I don't know yet, but I'm not in the habit of jumping to conclusions. I like these arguments. 
I like that they're arguing. Um, oh, like about me, basically. Shows that they're two different sides. Really well. Tad coin. Police chopper. Top of everything else. Yeah. What's up? You on the ground. Hold Whoa. Right there. Whoa. Whoa. Did you just say tweet? <laughs> oh, the birds. The angle there was kind of bad. <laughs> Thanks, birds. <laughs> Thanks for the assist, yo. They wrecked him. Jeez, where's he going? <laughs> yo, birds, you on my side now. I like it. Dark Presence doesn't want anything to interrupt us, I guess. Alan Wake took down a helicopter. He's a menace to society. What is this, a uh, Firewatch? Uh, that appears to be the direction we're going. Let's go into the Firewatch first. Yeah. Got a light. A light? I mean, uh... Binoculars? Yeah, this is a Firewatch. Hey, it's cool. It's got that thing! I played this game, but I don't remember what that's called. That game was good. Good little game. Uh, this is Shane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Chains. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Gates. We got both Wheeler and Rose what? in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. These two characters. <laughs> they need to be star of their own. Shane. Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of Otis Scott. Oh. You know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. My characters. Over. My friends. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like <laughs> they have a lot in common. What? Mulligan out. Okay. Thermos over there. Alright, let's take a look. I have a coin. <laughs> I have a coin to see. Uh, yeah. Press stop. I can look at the other one, I guess. Be a tower. Doing its thing. I could see the lights of oh. the radio station in the distance. Radio station. Okay. Where's that thermos I saw? Over there somewhere? Yeah, there it is. Wait, wait. Is there something he says if I look in this one? No? No, like, oh, man. That looks bad. Got the helicopter wreck. Ah, okay. Let's go. Uh, what are we up to time-wise? Yeah, let's go for some longer. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. You imagine? He seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Aww. I was told to go to the coal mine? <gasps> oh. That fence has been taken over by the dark presence. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. Bam! <laughs> got defeated by the gate, that's funny. I gotta turn this light on, I see. Alright, cool. Give me that thermos. Uh, I gotta probably need electricity for that. Okay. And boop. I don't know if your um your extension cord should be uh, sparking like that halfway through. Take that, light. Get 
Get on out of here trying to stop me. No gate keeps Alan Wake locked. Okay. Checkpoint. Oh, another gate, another gate. <laughs> Such a weird enemy. Oh, crap. Oh, I think it was just the uh, thing being mad. Oh, my flashlight. Good. I think it was just the gate being mad. Uh, anything back here real quick? Now, I've been playing this game a lot lately. When the hell did it tell me to go to a coal mine? What? Stop that. It took me a moment to what is this? Flashbangs? Uh -huh. an ideal weapon for my situation. <laughs> Thanks, Ryder. A whole bunch of them, too. Why does the police car flashbang? <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta listen to this. Okay. She has none of her teams anymore. Flashbangs, huh? Always go the opposite direction of what I'm supposed to, just to look around. Uh, I shouldn't do that so much. Makes all these videos longer than they need be. Oh, hey guys. Three of you, huh? Do I need to pop you first? Are these flashbangs to work? Ooh, ow. Okay, flashbang. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I die. No, it was like pff, the first time I died for reals. Oh, lame. Okay, so flashbangs take a second to pop. Whoa. Oh, these are police officers that have been taken. Okay. Can you pop more quickly? Okay, it does kill. Wait, what? I don't have anything to do with you. Um, why didn't that one die? Was that the one that was pop pre-popped? Does it not kill the pre-popped ones? Shit! 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 Ah! No, please, man. Ah! Oh shit! Oh, that popped it instantly. What the heck? Oh, is it because it hit him? Okay. Detonate on impact. Thanks for the batteries. Oh, I guess we're going to be really using the grenades a lot in this section, huh? Another radio section. Please. Milt! What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. <laughs> well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there. Lots of there is pirates, not a helicopter, helicopter buzzing. buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay. Okay, thanks. Okay. Main, let me know. I don't need to go back here. Let's just go forward. Twangy guitar sounds. Manuscript. Guys. Just was coming to get my manuscript. Oh shit, it's a whole bunch of you. <laughs> okay. Ooh! Killed four Tegan with a single flashbang. Achievement! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, you got you, you want your flashbang to actually hit them to fire off instantly. Rose, touched by the dark presence. Ew. Touched by the dark presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. 
The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Aww. She didn't want to do it. Poor freaking Rose. Um, I haven't been rewarded much with like exploring into the woods. I'm going to stick to the path. And I think anytime there's a secret, they're going to put an arrow on it. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, how? Oh, his friend reacted to getting hit. Did you see that? Okay, I like that a lot. Back off. I'm not wasting a grenade on just one. I gotta get you all to punch up. No. You missed. You missed. You missed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. swinging for my butt. There you are. Oh. <laughs> Siren. Or, I mean, uh, police lights. Where are you getting all these knives from, man? What are you in the wrong game? Go back to Resident Evil. Oh, I guess blue and red aren't enough lights. I'm hitting shift, but that doesn't, doesn't count. Oh, okay. I'm dodging too soon. Dang it! Dodge. I got impatient with the dodging there. Oh, lame, 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 lame. Ah, I hate this crap. Oh, of course, it didn't kill him this time. Ah. Guess I will have to use them right on these guys. You missed. What? Oh, I didn't hit him. Okay, let's go. Got a little bit of a lead. There is... Dang it. There is a freaking... Did I kill them all? There is a freaking... Something somewhere. Over here. Well, I guess it gave me the opportunity to find this. I wouldn't have had before. Ah! Uh, generator. Cool. Thanks for the generator that I can't really use on enemies. It's gonna be more flashbangs. Oh no, it's dynamite. What? That was three flares. Trust no one in the dark. Walk in light. Heal me, please. Thanks. Okay. Well, it gave me a chance to find a cachet that I didn't find before. Oh, shiz. You guys. Oh, come on. You guys didn't spawn before, did you? Just because I went into that cave, you got to spawn? Did you have more flashbangs? You did. Uh, okay. Oh, crap. All right, cool. I love that my flashbangs are instant. <laughs> you do it by just waiting till they get right in front of you, so you can't miss because there's no arc or really any aiming or anything. Radio station. Um, hey, buddy, I see you there. 
No, I will not brace. <laughs> Thank you for those ragdolls. It was really fun to look at. Radio station. Checkpoint reached. The I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Trailer park. The sheriff should be helping us normal citizens instead of wasting resources on those. Jesus, Lorna. Tell us how you really feel. Let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Oh, Pat. Being too accommodating. Okay, folks. We're going to be stopping here. Hope you're all enjoying us playing uh, Alan Wake. Or in episode 3. Uh, that's it for me today, though. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, do please subscribe. Daily uploads on this channel. New video every day, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Alternating Let's Plays here, though. So if you want to catch more of this, it'll be day after next. In the meantime, I'm playing someone else tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to check it out. That's it for me today. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you soon. Uh, bye bye now. We're going to be doing another car section already?